we're off to Isles of Egg. So it's like a three hour boat ride on a sailboat. Let's go to Egg. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> It's a beautiful place. Yeah. 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 Never do? expected this. Yeah. You in? Yeah, I'm in. We're heading to the wind the wind farm. Well, the wind turbines. Standing right next to the four wind turbines that powers Isle of Egg. And we just looked into the control systems that uh, helps to maintain the voltage and supply the power generated by the windmills to the grid, which is like, I guess, underground, the Isles of Egg. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. The main drawback with windmills is that it has a capacity factor. Capacity factor is the amount of time that the windmill actually generates usable power, and that's usually around 30% in the UK. Initially, in the first couple of years, we were using a lot more engineers from the mainland, which is very expensive. Yeah. To get somebody over just for one or two nights is about, you know, maybe two thousand pounds. Whereas if we can do it ourselves, yeah. it's much more reasonable. These are photo photovoltaic panels, uh, solar panels basically. In one kilometer cube of area, we have one kilowatt hours of energy. All renewable energy is depend on the sun. It just charges the battery and we can take the power off the battery. The water comes down here, yeah. in here, turbine under there, yeah. that flies around. There's the alternator, yeah. that makes the electricity. All, all the power on the island comes to here. Yeah, okay. Goes through these mm -hmm. into the batteries next door mm -hmm. and then back out through these uh, back to the island. Okay. When we first built the house, we had our own generator, which meant having about five hours power a day. We would have the generator on for in the evenings. We were burning a barrel of diesel a month which cost about 150 quid a month. Now, we've got 24 hour power for about a pound a day. If somebody to come up with a, a good storage solution. I guess at least 50% of the time where we're producing more power than we can use. You build a concrete block and then you have a rail system that goes up, say, that hill. So when you have excess power, you, you use the power and then you pump the concrete block up the hill and you just keep it there. So you've basically converted your electricity into potential energy. When you need power, you just like let the concrete block blow. So the rail tracks are fitted with sort of bearing sort of mechanism. Right. So when it runs down, it sort of like rotates the mechanism to generate the power back. Sounds good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> stand, stand well back. <laughs> yeah. What's your life motto? Take it easy. <laughs> Without the fact that we could, we owned Egg um, and the cooperation of the community, um, you know, it would have never happened. So I reckon that's our probably the achievement that we're all most proud of, I would say. Community is the most important thing. And if people work together for something they believe in, anything's possible. <laughs> no, I'm excited. <laughs> well, thank you very much for having us on your island. You're very Thanks welcome. for welcoming us. Thanks for taking us around. You're more than welcome. It was a pleasure. It was yeah. great.
I'm going to take a lot of things back home. Uh, most importantly, the community acceptance and togetherness, their commitment towards a more sustainable and a green way of living. To cap themselves actually at five kilowatt hours per day is uh, is like a huge commitment, and people people in a lot of cities wouldn't even imagine of living such a life. But uh, they they do sacrifice a lot of things, but they have their own peaceful, better way of living.